So welcome to lesson number one. This is the first time that I'm actually going to be teaching you something that I really hope that you build into your daily routine. Uh, so the first thing that I want to focus on are daily rituals. And these are some th simple things that you can do each morning and each evening for just five minutes that are going to make you happier, they're going to make you more effective, and they're going to make you improve as you go through the process of trying to start your own social venture. So why do I want to begin with these? It's so that you can achieve more in your day. You're going to be more focused and more motivated. And it's also going to allow you to focus on the positive parts of your day and identify how you can make any improvements. So what do you need to do? Well, it's really simple. There's just three steps. The first is block off five minutes each morning and each evening. And I highly recommend you do this at the same time every day so that it's much easier to habitualize. Then you're just going to bust out a pen and a paper or a notepad and you're going to answer the following questions. So like I said, this is broken up into two different sections. So first let's start with the morning routine and then we'll end with the evening routine. So the five minute, five minute morning preparation ritual is very easy. There's three questions that I want you to answer every morning. And those are, first, what are three things that you're grateful for? These can be simple things. I'm grateful for the love of my partner. I'm grateful for our dog. Or they can be things that are a little bit more situational. I'm, greater for, or I'm grateful for the opportunity to present my idea to customers. I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak to somebody who has experience in the market that you're looking after. But we just want to start the day identifying that there's such great things that are potentially or that are going on in your life and that can potentially help move you forward. And that those are the things that you need to be grateful for. So focus on those happy energy sources. And next, what are three things that would make today great? So imagine yourself laying down to bed. What would the three most important things be that you completed during that day to ensure that you had the best day possible? So those could be things like going to the gym. It could be talking to 10 customers. Or it could be having a meeting with a potential partner. Anything that you see would help move you as far as you can in that day towards your goals. And lastly, a daily affirmation. So I am X. And that X is the thing that you need to hear to remind yourself that you can easily hit all of those goals that you set yourself for the day and remind yourself what a great and aspirational person you are. So I am a fantastic social entrepreneur who will be successful. I am a hard-working social entrepreneur or social venture entrepreneur and all of my goals are attainable. Or quite simply, I am able to hit my goals for today. Uh, so you'll see that what we do in the morning really is just set the tone very positively and set out these small steps so that if you hit these actions, you know that you've had a successful day. And that's clear from the moment you get out of bed. And next, we want to do a five-minute evening reflection ritual. So what you're going to do, once again, is pick five minutes every night. I'd recommend doing it in the same place at the same time, just so that you can habitualize it. And I just want you to do a brain dump of all of the things that answer the following questions. So think about your day. Think about your work. Think about your life. And in that order, answer the following questions. So first, how did your day go? What success did you experience? What challenges did you endure? So I want you to break down your day into what was positive, what was challenging, what did you overcome? How did that make you feel? And then next, what did you learn today? And what did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about others? And what do you plan to do tomorrow? And this is both things that you need to do differently because you've learned a better way or that a way doesn't work, or things that you want to do the same because today proved that those were really valuable. And lastly, who did you interact with? Is there anyone that you need to update, to thank, to ask a question, to share feedback with? Because figuring out what those steps are that you need to do tomorrow helps you when you wake up in the morning to set those three goals in place. So three goals. One of them could be asking Carlos for a quote. Uh, another one could be ensuring that I don't use the approach that I used for customer discovery yesterday and that I use a new approach. 
Uh, so what this five minute evening reflection is about is just taking all of the things that you experience during the day, putting it into one place, being able to see it and have a much deeper understanding so that one, in the morning, you can go about setting better goals for what you need to do to accomplish what you want to get done. And two, so that your subconscious while you're sleeping can go through all of the information that you just put down and make connections or come up with solutions to problems and order the importance of the things that you need to do. Because just because you're sleeping doesn't mean that your brain turns off. So you want to give your brain as much challenges as you can before you go to bed so that when you wake up, it's worked out all the problems without you really having to care about it so that each day you, woke, you wake up refreshed with a better idea of what you need to do next. And what I would recommend is a lot of these are taken from what's called the five minute journal. Uh, so it's a very cheap book, uh, but having something that's printed out that you fill out every morning and every evening will really help you. So I can't recommend this enough. Go to fiveminutejournal.com Take a look and see whether or not this is something that would work for you.